Yvette, how's it going? Hi, Christy. Good, how are you? Good, Morty and I wanted to say hi. Hi. So we just finished recording our 5048 Unit 1 course, and we thought that we would chat with you all a little bit about it, tell you about ourselves and a little bit about the coursework. So Yvette, if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit um, about your background and how you got into teaching for Jose at ABA Technologies and our partnership with Florida Tech. Uh, that would be great. I would love to. Um, so I was actually uh, a student at Florida Tech who, um, you know, maybe similar to some of you students, who uh, was lucky enough to be mentored by Dr. Martinez Diaz, or Jose as we call him. Um, and I was doing my undergrad in forensic psychology uh, and taking courses in animal behavior. And uh, that was when Jose grabbed me and said, what are you doing? What do you want to do? Um, and to be honest, at that point, I, I wasn't really sure. He explained to me this um, science of behavior that I could apply to criminal, criminal behavior or animal behavior or uh, just about anything in between. Um, and so I, I then realized, yes, this is for me. This is what I want to do. Um, it can kind of merge all of these, these interests that I have, and it's something that's so relevant um, in helping others. Uh, and after seeing Jose and meeting the people um, that are a part of this program, you know, really showed me that it's something special and that if you want to help people and you want to make an impact and change lives, a behavior analysis is just an absolutely amazing way to do that. So I said, sure, I, I I'll get on board with Jose and, and be a behavior analyst. And so that was um, back in 09. Um, that I graduated and so um, since then I've, I've kind of worked in a variety of settings and with a variety of populations um, but I find that I keep coming back to um, Jose's program and ABA technologies and, and teaching because I just think it's a, a really great program and I think it produces really high quality um, behavior analysts. And what about you Christy? I know you've got a interesting history yourself. I was lucky enough to meet Jose as an undergrad um, when I was at UCF and he's there teaching classes and trying to recruit people. Um, he was always trying to build the, the field up and uh, was just so lucky that he guided my career because I didn't know what I was going to do. I uh, went to Florida Tech, uh, graduated from there in 2002, went out into the field and uh, he just kind of sucked me back in after years of practicing and my passion's verbal behavior. I wanted to come back and teach for Jose because um, he and, and um, the, the people he selected, I think, are really dedicated to making high quality behavior analysts. And that was our goal as we developed, uh, particularly this coursework that Yvette and I have worked so hard on mm -hmm. um, for 5048. It's all about taking the concepts and principles that students have learned in earlier coursework and going out and applying it. So, this unit is, um, you know, selecting behaviors and developing instructional control, as we call it. In everything you do, I think, as a behavior analyst, you're going to find yourself um, teaching some kind of skill acquisition. And so there could be behavior deficits that may range from academic deficits to verbal deficits, um, personal care, uh, just daily functional living skills. And so these will all be things that we'll need to assess in our consumers or our clients and, and teach them. I think really getting to know your clients and determining what are outcomes that are relevant for them, what changes do they hope to see in their lives, and then coming up with target behaviors and determining how how do we teach these things so they can live the lives that, that they envision um, for themselves? It's just kind of empowering, a really great thing. You know, teaching verbal behavior, that will be something else that, that um, is touched on later in the unit. I don't know if you want to say anything specifically to that. Well, I mean, they're going to be the most fun two units in the course, <laughs> in my opinion, because um, verbal behavior, once you have that skill, it, it increases your quality of life exponentially. Um, the, I've worked with a number of individuals who some other professional has told that parent uh, that their child's never going to be able to talk. I've worked with individuals who doctors had told to just put them in an institution or a group home because there's, there's, they're not going to have any quality of life. Um, and that we were able to come in with our science and to give them language to be able to express your wants and needs. Um, rather than relying upon problem behavior. I just, I can't think of any one skill that I love to teach more. I know that I think it's really rewarding when you have a student email and, and talk about that they were able to use this with their kid and that their kid can talk now or they've been able to help uh, toilet train their, their teenager who they've had all these other services in their house and no one's ever been able to successfully do that. And it's just really wonderful to see the, the far reaches that we have on people's lives with a, a group of really talented uh, 
co-instructors. Students have at their fingertips access to other BCBAs and BCBADs who they can ask questions to and, and get advice from on um, giving examples about the concept and principles so it's not so abstract. And I, I think that another really great thing our co-instructors have to offer is they come from such diverse backgrounds that we've got people who specialize in autism or people who specialize with um, you know, adults with dual diagnoses or um, gerontology, elderly um, populations, or even you know, OBM type stuff where people that are, are working in business settings with employees. And I think you'll find that as, you know, as students, as you, um, you know, meet a new instructor and kind of see these different areas that they have to offer, you may kind of find find yourself, um, you know, deterring a little bit from maybe what you thought you originally wanted to do, but still, again, a very um, relevant area and, and helping others. So a great field overall, regardless of which niche you pick within it. Uh, I do think that's awesome. Um, for students, if you don't know what you want to do, but you want to go out and make meaningful change in the world, um, whether your background special education, psychology, counseling, um, working in school systems, we have a huge need for more behavior analysts in school systems. Um, the, just, this is the place to be. These are the courses to take to go out and, and sh figure out how to apply our science. It's just changing the environment to to bring about meaningful change in behavior and I really think these courses can help you achieve that. Mm -hmm.